Hello. Today I'm joined by my very good friends, Bunny Rabbit and Mr. Smiling Bear. They are child advocates. They are here to join me to talk to you about why um, they are opposed to, and I also, we're all opposed to uh, spanking, hitting, yelling, screaming, meanness, impatience. We're opposed to those things. And the reason is because um, they're not good. But there's a, a more profound reason, a very profound reason, a, a profound spiritual reason. You see, they're all compensations for a lack of love. When you're impatient, you don't have love. When you're mean, when you're angry, you don't have love. When you're hitting, yell, spanking, um, awful things like that, there's no love there. The little children can see that there's no love. And it causes them a lot of pain. It causes them a lot of pain. <sighs> Bunny Rabbit is very shy. She became shy because when she was little, her mom uh, would get angry at her all the time and accuse her of doing bad things. And um, so she has a little issue with that. Now, Mr. Smiling Bear, he went the other way. He became a, a rebel. He rebelled against the improper authority of meanness. See, meanness is an improper authority. Impatience is an improper authority. Anger is an improper authority. And hitting and all those things, even timeouts, but especially hitting, are um, is a terrible, terrible substitute for what the children really need, which is patience. See, the authority is already there. What is the authority? The authority is goodness. The authority is goodness. And the children recognize that authority. But when you're impatient, you fall away from it. When you're angry, you fall away from it. When you're resentful, you fall away from it. Then you don't have it. And all you can do is compensate. Or go to the other extreme and out of guilt, be nice, see, too nice, condescending, permissive, see, those are not good either. Author the authority is, uh, um, is love, patience, kindness, and of course all the other beautiful virtues, principle, honor, virtue, um, long-suffering, all the beautiful virtues. Okay, so what you need to do is Learn to stand back. If you catch yourself being mean, stand back. Apologize for it immediately. If you're angry, stand back from it. If you're impatient, stand back from it. See it. Be, it's painful to see just how impatient you are and how much love you don't have. Okay? But see it. Okay? That's the beginning step, the first step to reconnecting with your inner ground of good. See, that which gives you the power to stand back and observe what is wrong, that is from where the love will come from. Okay? Now, they would like me to uh, share with you something else, this book. This is such a wonderful book, Santa's Take on Parenting. Highly recommended. Mr. Smiling Bear recommends it highly. Um, I wrote it. Uh, it's a story about how Santa and Mrs. Claus help a couple of little children who have issues. And Santa and Mrs. Claus never spank. They never yell. They never use timeouts. They never punish. But Santa and Mrs. Claus have love. Santa has a twinkle in his eye. Okay? So this is a very good book. I recommend it. And all my other books, of course, are also helpful. My meditations are helpful if you need help standing back from anger. See, a lot of people have anger issues. A lot of people are resentful. Remember what I said, if you're angry, if you're resentful, you don't have love. Okay? And that's what um, my friends, Bunny Rabbit and Mr. Bear, would like you to know. My name is Roland.